Hello, hello, people. Oops. How are you tonight? Very good. Welcome hello. one time. Good evening. Hello. Hello. What is today? Welcome to Inglés Corporativo. A ver, ¿quién tiene problema? Dice. Hola, Felicenda. ¿Cómo están las cosas por ahí? Bueno, a cuidarnos, gente, a cuidarnos. Esperemos de Santa Ana, dicen. Sí, dos de Santa Ana. Hoy sí ya anda corriendo por las calles. Ni modo. ¿eh? Más, más, más serio el encierro. Se va a poner más estricto ya. Sí, sí, definitivamente. Ok. Well, let's get it started tonight. Let me share the screen with you. Okay. Well, last night we were working on this exercise. Ana, anoche terminamos con este ejercicio que les quedó para para que lo completaran ustedes. Vamos a ver cómo lo terminaron. Terminado. Ayer vimos algunas. Íbamos por whose sunglasses are these. Yeah. Whose sunglasses are these? And the answer is Charlie. ¿Quién me dice cómo sería la oración? With they the possessive are, noun. They are Charlie's sunglasses. They are Charlie. Sunglasses. Tiene que, tiene que escucharse. Charlie. Charlie's. Este. Ajá. Que se escuche esa, esa S con the possessive. They are Charlie's son glasses. Okay. With possessive adjective. They are his sunglasses. His son glasses. And with the possessive pronoun. The sunglasses are his. Perfect. The sunglasses are his. Very good. Now, uh, next. Whose wallet is this? And the answer is my father. Possessive noun? My father's wallet. Sorry, again? Repeat. It is my father's wallet. My, repeat. Father's. Father's wallet. wallet. Okay. Next. It is his wallet. It is his wallet. 
Next. The wallet is it. Is it. Perfect. Now, whose pencil is this? Whose pencil it, is this? It, mm -hmm. it is Davis pencil. It is David's David's pencil. Okay, next. It is his pencil. It is his pencil. Next. The pencil is his. Okay, very good. And finally, whose dress is this? It is your grandmother's dress. It is your grandmother's dress. Okay. Next. It is her dress. It is her dress. Okay. Next. The dress is her. Is hers. Very good. Okay. Let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Whose umbrella is this? Whose umbrella, umbrella is this? It is Anna's umbrella. It is, it is Anna's umbrella. It is her umbrella. It is her umbrella. Her umbrella. The umbrella is hers. The umbrella is hers. Whose jeans are these? Whose jeans are these? They are my sister's jeans. They are my sister's jeans. They are her jeans. The jeans are hers. The jeans are hers. Whose car is this? Whose Who's car is this? It is the manager's car. It is the manager's car. It is his car. It is his car. The car is his. The car is his. Whose books are these? Whose books are these? They are the teacher's books. They are her books. They are her books. They are her books. The books are hers. The books are hers. Whose sunglasses are these? sunglasses are these? They are Charlie's sunglasses. They are Charlie's sunglasses. They are his sunglasses. They are his sunglasses. The sunglasses are his. The sunglasses are his. Whose wallet is this? Whose wallet is this? It is my father's wallet. It is my it is his wallet. It is his wallet. The wallet is his. The wallet is his. Whose pencil is this? 
Who's penciling? It is David. It is David Spencer. It is David Spencer. It is his pencil. It is his pencil. His pencil. The pencil is his. The pencil is his. Whose dress is this? Whose dress is this? It is your grandmother's dress. It is your grandmother's dress. It is her dress. It is her dress. The dress is hers. The dress is her. Okay, very good. Any question here? No. No. Perfect. Very good. So, we have an exercise in the platform for this exercise. Okay, let me see. que lo hiciéramos aquí, pero ya tiene la respuesta y así no se vale. A ver si lo puedo borrar. Es de exercise 4.6. 4.6. Bueno, les voy a les voy a dar cinco minutos para que hagan ese ejercicio si no lo han hecho. Aquí está, ya se borraron. Ah, igual, les doy cinco minutos. Es este ejercicio, 4.6. ¿Ya? Dice, eh, complete the conversations with the correct word. Complete las conversaciones con la palabra correcta. Yeah, por ejemplo, number one dice, is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers. It's mine or mine? Mine. 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 Ok, good. Bien. Eso es lo que hay que hacer. Uh, no sé si ya lo hicieron. Yes. yes. Ah, ok. Bueno, entonces veámoslo acá rapidito. Y luego eh, para los que no lo han hecho. Number two. Vamos a mover un poco para que se vea toda la conversación. Ok. Number two dice, are these your gloves or your gloves? Your gloves. Your. your. Are these your gloves? No, uh, they are not. No, they are not. Mine. Mine? Mine. No. Mine. 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 A ver, el primero o el segundo? Para no confundir. El segundo. ¿El segundo? Bueno, vamos a ver. Number two, maybe they're 
Her or hers? Gloves. Her. 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 El segundo. El primero. El primero. Ah, a ver. Number three. T-shirts are these. Whose or yours? Whose? Whose? No, they're not. There or theirs? Primero o segundo? El primero. No. El segundo. El segundo. But these socks are there or theirs? Primero o segundo? Segundo. No, el segundo. Segundo. These socks are theirs. And these shorts are your or yours? Yours. Hey, these are not our or ours. Our. The primero. Yes? Okay. No lo hago muy seguro. Uh, you're right. Our are over there or ours are over there. Primero o segundo? Ours. Ours. Bueno, revisemos. Dice 27.2 de 34. Ajá. Tengo un par de errorcitos que son estos. Uno, dos. Vamos a ver, vamos a corregir. ¿Por qué? Uh, usualmente cuando usamos los pronouns, possessive pronouns, ya no utilizamos aquello de lo que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Ya no lo mencionamos. No decimos, son míos guantes, ¿verdad? No, son mis guantes ok entonces en este caso lo correcto sería my no mine they are not my gloves porque estamos utilizando el la, uh, el objeto del que estamos hablando ok por eso es un adjetivo, porque solo le da una, le transfiere una característica a algo. Estoy diciendo que esos guantes no pertenecen a mí. Esa es la característica. My gloves. Cuando yo uso mine, ya no menciono el objeto. They are not... Uh, uh, por ejemplo... Y es el otro caso, veamos. Igual acá, ¿eh? They're not. Y aquí está mencionado el objeto. They're not their t-shirts. Pero acá, al final, ya no lo menciono. But these socks are theirs ya no lo menciono después del del posesivo ok estos, estos calcetines son suyos son de ellos these, are, these socks are theirs 
si usara el there, tendría yo que repetir. These socks are their socks. Tendría yo que decir así. This es redundante, ¿verdad? These socks are their socks. Entonces, para no repetir esto, es que decimos theirs. Ok. Ahí estuvo el error. Sí. Bien. Le damos a revisar de nuevo. Para que los que no lo han hecho, pues lo. ¿Qué pasó aquí? No lo corregí. No lo corregí. Ok. Los que no lo han hecho, pues lo, lo hacen, ¿verdad? Ya vieron cómo va. Ok. ¿Any question? Yo lo hice, ya repito, ahorita y todas maneras humanas. Oh. Todos los todo lo estaba haciendo en plural. No, 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 es que, es que esto no es plural, necesariamente. ¿Verdad? No, 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 porque el your... Generaliza. De, de posesión. Lo, ambos son posesivos. La diferencia es que en uno el objeto va después. Ok, my house, my car, my books. Si ustedes se fijaron en el ejercicio que hicimos, ve, her jeans, his car, her books. El objeto va después. Ve. En cambio aquí va antes. The jeans are hers. The car is his. Y, y no es plural, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de una persona, de manager. My sister. O sea, no es plural. Ok. They are her books. The books are hers. ¿Ya? Son mis libros. Los libros son míos. ¿Ok? En algunos casos es que incluso se, se, no se utiliza el, el objeto que, del que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, acá. Vamos a ver. Acá hay algunos ejemplos. Algún ejemplo donde no... Por aquí está. Acá. Is this Jennifer's hat? Ok, estamos hablando de esto, del, del sombrero. Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it is not hers. Vean. Ya no lo volvemos a mencionar. No, no es suyo. No es de A. It is mine. Yeah. It is mine. Ya no lo necesito mencionar. En cambio, si yo dijera my, tendría que mencionar de qué estoy hablando. It's my hat. Ok. Bueno, creo que en otros módulos se va a, a repetir esto para reforzarlo. Any question? No. no. Okay. Very good. Let's continue then. 
with the next topic. For the next topic, we have a video here. The next topic is about the weather. Weather. Hi, everyone. Weather and seasons. So I'm going to play the video and pay attention. Listen to the video, please. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no! What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay, one more time, please. Hi, everyone. Think. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no! What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay, let's practice this vocabulary about weather and season. Repeat after me, please. It's spring in Brazil. It's spring in Brazil. Spring. Repeat. Spring. Spring. Remember, do not say a spring. No. Spring. Spring. Okay. One more time. It's spring in Brazil. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's cool. It's cool. 
It's summer in Korea. 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 It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's raining. It's hot, hot and humid. It's winter in Russia. It's winter in Russia. Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Okay, we have four four seasons: spring, summer, fall, and winter. Four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Okay. What is summer? No. Seasons. No. Four seasons. Four seasons. Uh, otoño, invierno, primavera y verano. Okay, esas son las cuatro estaciones. What is summer? Verano. Verano. Winter. Invierno. Invierno. Fall. Otoño. Spring. Primavera. Primavera. Ok. Esas son las eh, cuatro estaciones. Alguien está escribiendo el chat que dice primavera. Y, y, y Joel, ¿qué pasó? No le funciona el micrófono, Joel. O oh, sí. Ok. Y tenemos um, el weather, el clima o el, el tiempo, ¿verdad? Sobre todo clima. Warm. ¿Ya? Que es, es cálido, es tibio, no es, no es este, caliente, ¿no? Caliente es hot. It's very sunny. Vean, very sunny. Muy soleado. Ya. Yeah. Digamos cálido. In fall, it's cool. Cool sería como fresco. Fresco. Cloudy. Nublado and windy. A lot of wind, mucho viento. Summer, esto es lo raro para nosotros, ¿verdad? Que it's raining. Shh. Raining. Lluvia. Lluvia. Uh -huh. And humid. Caliente. Uh -huh. Viento. Caliente y húmedo. Húmedo. Winter, it's snowing. Está nevando. It's very cold. ¿Verdad? Muy helado. Muy helado, muy frío. ¿Ok? So here in El Salvador, we only have two seasons, winter and summer. Yeah, that's all. Y aquí nunca 
podemos decir el término cold, frío, realmente no. Ok, any question with this vocabulary? No. Ok. Then we have a conversation that we are going to practice. Let's practice this conversation. Repeat after me, please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's the matter? The matter. It's snowing and it's very cold. It's snowing and very cold. 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 No, no cool. Cold. Cold. Okay. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. But my, my coat is not warm. I am not wearing boots. 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 Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay. okay. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Okay. ¿De dónde vienen saliendo estas chicas? Where are they? ¿Dónde están? Where are they? Lavandería. Ah, en una lavandería. Okay. Very good. And um, okay, let's practice one more time. Now I am Pat, and you are Julie. Okay. 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 Oh no! What the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. No, they're at home. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Thanks, Julie. Okay, now you are Pat and I am Julie. So you begin. One, two, three. Oh, no. no. What's the matter? It's snowing. It's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No. They're at home. They're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is not warm. I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, to practice some speaking, I'm going to put you in pairs. And I want you to practice this conversation for a moment, okay? Uh, uh -oh. You have the conversation in, in WhatsApp. Ahí pueden ver la imagen de la conversación. Four groups, five groups. Okay, I'll give you five minutes to practice the conversation. Uh, 
two or three times, okay?
Okay, welcome back. Okay, to continue, I'm going to play this video about present continuous statements. Okay, we are going to study present continuous. Present continuous is uh, like sentences like, like this. Okay, when, when they say, it's snowing, that is present continuous. You're wearing your coat. I'm not wearing boots. Or question, are you wearing your gloves? Esta forma es lo que se conoce como present continuous. Y eso es lo que vamos a ver en el video. ¿verdad? de qué se trata y cómo se utiliza. Ok, take a look to the video, please. I'm gonna mute your microphone for a moment. Plus the verb to be, plus the verb and it's I. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. 
when forming negative statements you will just add not after the verb to be let me give an example on the chart they are not wearing shoes they are not wearing shoes if we made the contraction that will be they're not wearing shoes Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrast and information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and coworkers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums okay people we are going to stop here we don't have any more time and we'll continue tomorrow okay please complete the exercises in the platform all right have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.